So typically, we're looking to simplify logical expressions. So by simplifying expressions, it means we can eliminate some operations and uh, or variables. So by doing that, remember when we eliminate an operation, essentially means we're getting rid of a, a logic gate. And so by getting rid of uh, as many operations as we can do, and, and then eliminating variables if we can, it leads to physically simpler circuits. So we can minimize the circuit. So it decreases cost, we need less logic gates, smaller circuits, and less power requirements as well. So we're going to look at an example. So the, this is just a random Boolean expression. So how you go about using those rules we've just seen to simplify this. So we can note here that A is a common factor. So we can just take out the common factor. Then we'll be left with this expression. And again, by looking inside the inside the um, brackets, and we can note that not B. You know this these this is also also a common factor here. So we can take out the not B. And then we're left with this, and inside the square brackets, then we've got one or C. So we know from the laws that one or C will just give us one. So we're left with this expression, and then B not B and one. That's going to just leave us with not B as well. So just a few easy steps. We can simplify this expression into um, into this one. And you can also do it actually quicker than that. If we just look at the first expression at the top, you can see actually that A and not B is a common factor. So you could just take that out right from the beginning and you've left one or C. So we know that that's is equal to one. So we'll just be left with this. So look at it in terms of gates. You can see you've had to build, if you built that circuit, you know you need five gates to build that. So five gates and three inputs. And by simplifying it, this you know this is a simplified version. So we see we've got got rid of this entire part of the circuit. We've got rid of. So it's very important to do minimization when we can to get our simpler circuits. So we're going to look at the MUX. So we saw on a previous screencast that this is a um, SOP expression for a multiplexer. So now we can use Boolean algebra in order to simplify this because you can see that's going to take quite a lot of gates to build that. So by using Boolean expression, we can hopefully simplify it down. So again, it's just about looking for common factors really. So we can look at the, the first part here. Got these two common factors here, so not S and D naught. So we can tail that out as a common factor, and we'll be left with this term in brackets. And again, if we inspect these up two other terms, we've got um, S and D one as a common factor. So we can tail that as a common factor. We're left with these. Now both of these terms in the brackets. You know, so we've got not a or a. There's always one of those going to be equal to one. So we can we know that we know that this is equal to one. And this is equal to one. So that's not going to affect our AND operation. So we can just remove those, and we're left with this simplified expression. Then, so just doing a bit of burn algebra, we can reduce this complicated top expression. It's a much simpler expression. So now we can go ahead and build that, and this is then that gives us the circuit for a multiplexer.